Corel Video Studio Ultimate Review Corel Video Studio Ultimate 2022 offers several new tools for editing videos. Most are quite useful, making it a good option for most video creators. However, a few features require further refinement to be fully effective. Video Studio Ultimate features a GIF creator that allows users to create looping videos from a clip by adjusting size, playback speed, and frame rate. Although the tool effectively handles one clip, it may not display other layers like text when creating a GIF. To properly use the GIF creator, one method would be to export the video. Then import it again as a single clip. This workaround is rather cumbersome but it does get the job done. If you are interested in creating content with a heavy focus on social media, it is useful to review the best video editing apps available for Android, iPhone, and iPad. Video Studio's new features provide both productivity and entertaining extras, such as face effects. This VFX software allows the alteration of eye and face sizes via a slider. Further capabilities include cartoon-style eye bulge effects, however, it is currently unable to provide keyframing animation. Additional editing sliders such as skin smoothing, brightness, and skin tone can be employed to enhance a subject's appearance if not achieved in the initial stages of the shoot. Video Studio's face indexing is a new and exciting feature. It enables Video Studio to analyze a selected clip and identify all the faces that appear. Users can then choose which parts of the video contain people they are interested in, allowing them to incorporate them into their project quickly and efficiently. You can edit the index by combining faces that were not recognized as the same person by the algorithm, and assigning names to each face for improved performance. Finding the right pieces of a clip is made easier through automated processes. Video Studio comes with several transitions and the new camera movement transitions can produce fake movements that give a professional, modern look without any extra effort. Additionally, users have the option to apply augmented reality objects, such as an animated mask, onto their clips. The drag and drop feature was straightforward but there were discrepancies when we tested it with the clips. Masks were either misaligned, overly long, or incorrectly positioned and we could not get them to work correctly. To resize a mask, a tool is available, however, the face used in that section of the tool isn't the face from the actual clip it's simply generic which requires more estimation than precision when adjusting.